at the very beginning i was really worried that they were going to take this india versus pakistan approach throughout this film but no thanks to varun and prabhu they was impressive motivational speeches it doesn't happen instead it takes a deep dive into a totally different concept which kind of doesn't fit in there but still brings a lot of emotions and a wider scope to the story overall Hey there movie fans welcome back thank you for stopping by if you're new to this channel consider subscribing and if you're one of the people who are forced to watch this video i love you so without wasting any time let's jump to the one thing that we all went to watch this movie for the dance this film is 70% dance and 30% of normal drama and it's a very long movie almost 2 and 1/2 hours so we are going to get more than enough of both of them which i would say is fantastically balanced the dance in this film is just phenomenal for the fact that all of it was shot in london it's intensely bright and colorful and crazy innovative in majority of the scenes london is one of the most beautiful cities in the world and for all the outdoor scenes the city and its people's elegance and charm were perfectly utilized and perfectly combined that makes it so stunning to watch the film story is plain and simple nothing ground breaking in there but what matters in movies like this is the presentation and this film's dance scenes are so visually bright and engaging that i've never seen in a bollywood movie before it's fast paced it's visually grand and extremely innovative now for me the main reason for this visually epic stunner is nora now believe it or not nora is carrying 50% of this film's dance on her own shoulders and she doesn't disappoint she has no expressions at all which i believe is fine given the type of dance she is doing but she is a very strong and charming personality which is fantastically backed up by charismatic and stylish dancing skills which add even more impact more value and more weight to the film and also she is very pretty but all the credit for that goes to remo i think he's just a brilliant choreographer i still don't understand why he ventured into race 3 and i'd go as far as saying that he directed her so good that without nora this film is just a regular dance film which could be it or die the way she did that is because she's a professional dancer she is not an actress she is a dancer and i'm really surprised as to how the makers of this film have managed to sideline all the original dancers to make room for varun and shraddha they are the foundation of this film series and their job description in this film includes making not so funny jokes dancing behind the actors and giving pep talks every 15 minutes and i absolutely hated that dance is their life it's what that has made them who they are and the main reason why the original film was such a big success is because of their skills and their journey from dance in their dance years ago this film is like the bollywood remix of the old songs they add a little modernization and it's a hit that's what has happened to the original film a remake they are all underutilized to the minimum possible level and it's not fair at all and i thought the same thing was going to happen to prabhu deva but they picked him up right in the third act which i believe made perfect sense to introduce him even after more than 20 years he's still legendary he doesn't even age he looks the same he looked like 20 years ago and i'm really happy to see that there's a lot of prabhu deva special in this movie even more than the original one you're gonna love it there are plenty of songs from highly rated fan favorite artists there are raps for energetic performances and there are contemporary and dramatic songs for breaking down the love and emotions among the characters it's a really awesome soundtrack tailor made in detail for this beautiful film what's dance without music and what's music without dance right they go both hand in hand and when both music and dance are equally good something like street dancer is born varun and shraddha did a decent job but they're just everywhere in this film which should not happen in an ensemble cast movie just imagine iron man and captain america eating up all the space in an avengers film it doesn't work that way But I have to say this Varun is a very good comedic actor who can pull off comic roles. But for him I'm still stuck between satisfactory to what could have been more innovative and more stylish dance sequences. Speaking of performances there is a very fine actor called Apar Shakti Khurana in this film who literally controls and owns the 30% of drama that I mentioned earlier. The illegal immigrant situation is 100% real and I'm really happy the way they connected all of it with Varun taking money from them to set up the studio to Prabhu Deva feeding them and finally all of them fighting together for them I mean, brilliant it was a really beautiful concept and very well executed for executing scenes like that which require a lot of emotions and facial acting you definitely require a performer like apashakti khurana i mean that guy is a genuine actor and nailed all the emotional scenes to the best they possibly could be the scene where he had to remove his pagdi to cut off his hair so that no one can recognize him i mean that was a real emotional scene and i have to say this varun played a really strong supporting character during all those sequences in the end it was a very entertaining film with a very happy and emotional ending i would give it a solid 4 out of 5 one star less for making all the professional dancers from the original film look like clowns so that's all from me guys if you like this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button and we can be friends until one of us dies